Hi, my name is Melissa Mortensen from polka.chair.com and today I'm going to show you how to make the sweet child's apron. This apron is very simple to sew. It doesn't use a lot of fabric. Um, the top of it is lined. It has a cute little pocket on the top. You could also add a pocket to the skirt if you'd like. It's definitely a beginner friendly project, great project for kids who are learning how to sew. Um, and if you have been sewing for a long time, it's a nice quick sew project, makes a great gift. Let's start by talking about the fabric pieces you're gonna need to make the apron. Um, the first piece you're gonna need is a piece for the apron skirt. I am using a piece of fabric that is cut from a fabric panel, so the patchwork was already printed on here. It's from a summer, uh, it's called Summer Picnic by Riley Blake Designs if you would like to use the same fabric. You don't need a patchwork fabric, you can use any fabric you want. So you're gonna need a skirt piece, you're gonna need a piece for the pocket and a piece for the lining of the pocket. You're gonna need a piece for the top of the apron and then you're gonna need various strips cut for your shoulder straps, your waistband, and then your waist ties. So go ahead and gather all your supplies. There is a link in this video to the blog post tutorial that has all of the exact directions, or excuse me, dimensions, depending on which size of apron you are making. After you've cut out your pieces, you're gonna to wanna to round the corners of the skirt and the apron pocket. So um, what I like to use for that is this Creative Grids um, curved ruler. If you don't have one, you can use an old CD or DVD or a plate or anything with like a round corner. Um, but I have this tool and I find that I actually do use it quite a bit. So I am going to make, on this one, I'm gonna go ahead and do the one and a half inch radius corner and I'm just gonna trim the two bottom sides of the apron pocket with it. Okay, cut the whole thing that time, and then we just missed a little corner right there. I have the, ape, uh, the pocket front and lining pieces placed um, like they're going to be when they're sewn together. Um, so I like to cut them both at the same time just to make sure that the piece is going to be the correct size when I'm finished. And then you also need to round the two bottom corners of your skirt piece. And to do that, I like to fold it in half so that I know that it's going to be the same on both sides. And since this is a bigger piece of fabric, I'm going to go ahead and use the three inch radius corner for this bottom corner. Okay, and there you can see that that went ahead and rounded both of the corners of that skirt piece. Let's start by sewing the strap pieces. Um, here I have the wide piece that's gonna be used as the waist strap. What you're gonna do, there's, sh there's two of these, I'm just showing you on one of them. You're gonna go ahead and press this lengthwise, right sides facing. And you are going to want to, you can use a ruler if you want, you can just eyeball it, it's totally up to you, but you're going to want to create a mitered edge. So I usually just kind of eyeball it, so just kind of come in like that and draw a line. And then what you're going to do is you're going to start sewing at this end, you're going to leave this end open. You're going to start sewing at this end, sew all the way down the long edge. When you get to this point, you're going to pivot and sew up to here. And then you're going to do the exact same thing on both of the neck straps. And I guess I like to do a little mitered edge, so I'll just go ahead and draw that on there. Um, when you do this, make sure you use a quarter inch seam allowance, um, any larger of a seam allowance, and it might be hard to turn these right side out. So go ahead and sew them, and then I'll show you a trick to turn the right side out. Now that you have these sewn, I'm going to show you how to turn them right side out. I like to use this, I believe it's called a hemostat. Um, I will check and see what the exact name is 
in sewing circles. But what it has is it has these little locks on the end and it makes it really easy for turning stuff like this right side out. So with it open, I'm gonna go ahead and just feed it down the tube. I accidentally clicked it too early. <laughs> okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push some of that fabric, make sure it gets in there really good, that's at the end, into that, and then I'm gonna click it closed. And then all you do is just Looking from one end, just pull. And it's that easy to turn it right side out. After you've got it turned right side out, you're going to want to go ahead and poke that end out. And then I usually like to come in and kind of finger press it to make sure that seam is straight. And then take it over to your iron and steam all four pieces so that they're nice and crisp. Make the pocket, all you're gonna do is take your pocket pieces and place them right sides facing. Then you're gonna sew around the perimeter of the pocket, starting at the top, around the bottom, and coming back to the top, and leaving about a two inch opening. Then you're gonna go ahead and turn your pocket right side out. I like to use the hemostat again for this. Press it really well, and then top stitch along the top edge of the pocket. Now that the pocket piece is sewn, it's ready to be attached to the top of the apron. Um, you're going to just take it very simply, just one of the apron pieces, and you're going to center it on there. If you want, you can get um, technical and figure out how many inches over you need it, um, but I usually just eyeball it. It's totally up to you. And then come in after you get it like you want it some pins and pin it in place. Then you're going to stitch around the pocket to attach it and you're going to just stitch all the way around the perimeter and make sure that you um, backstitch at the two top corners because those are tension points of the pattern. The pocket is stitched down. Let's go ahead and attach the apron straps. So you've got two apron strap pieces that you have sewn and we have a half inch seam allowance that we're gonna sew this with. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come in and I'm gonna place these a half an inch in from the outside edge, like that. Again, I'm eyeballing it. If you don't like eyeballing it, feel free to measure, it's totally up to you. Then what I'm gonna do just to kind of keep these out of the way is I'm gonna bring them in and I am going to pin them in place. You'll see why in a second. So I'm just trying to keep these out of the way. Take your second piece of apron um, top fabric and place it right sides facing with the existing piece so you've got right sides together, you have a little sandwich there with the straps in the middle, and you are going to sew this. You're gonna start sewing at the bottom corner. You're gonna go up, over, and down, making sure you don't catch those straps, and then you're gonna go ahead and turn it right side out. This edge gets left open. Let's go ahead and finish the edge of the skirt piece. To do that, I am using Jumbo Rick Rack. Um, I just have a big piece. I'm going to start at this top corner and I'm going to sew it so that the edge of the rickrack is even with the edge of the fabric and I'm going to sew down the center of the rickrack. After you've sewn that down the center, all you're going to do then is you're going to come in and turn it so that the uh, rickrack goes to the back and then press this and then come in and just top stitch right down this long edge.
I've finished the edge of the skirt with rickrack and I have run two rows of gathering stitches um, on the top of the skirt. A gathering stitch is just a stitch as length as long as your machine will go. Run two rows across from each other and then you take the bobbin thread and you pull up on it and it creates gathers. It's pretty simple. What I, one trick I do like to do is when I get started is when I first start on the one edge is I like to put a pin in place and wrap my threads around it so that as I pull I don't accidentally pull out my threads. And then I have a ruler out here because you want to gather this to 12 inches wide. So it started out as 24, you're going to 12. So pretty much what you're doing is you're doing like a double gather. And you just, it doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to get it really close. So I am happy with that being 12 inches. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my waistband piece. I have two waistband pieces and I should have uh, noted, I also, you also want to go ahead and find the center. So we're going to count over six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's the center. And then I have on my iron pressed this so that I know where the center of my waistband is. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to pin my waistband piece to my skirt piece all the way across. Um, when I pin it, I'm going to want to make sure as I pin that all of these gathers look as nice as possible. After I get this pinned um, so it looks like I want and I feel like the gathers are even, I'm going to come in and I'm going to actually sew it on this side. I'm going to sew this side up. I'm going to have the gathers facing the um, feed dogs on the machine because that will help gather it. And I'm just going to stitch a half an inch all the way across. Half an inch seam allowance just to attach the waistband to the skirt. The skirt is sewn to the waistband. You can kind of see how that looks there. I still have this center marked. If, if that's come out as you pressed it, go ahead and mark that again. And then take that apron piece top that we had earlier and find the center and mark that. Then you're going to take the apron top and you're going to pin it to the top of the waistband. So raw edge, raw edge, pin this and stitch this. Um, you, you can baste it if you want because it's going to get sewn again. Um, it's up to you. Um, but I usually like to go ahead and just stitch it and use a quarter inch seam allowance here. You'll see why in a second. So just go ahead and sew this to the top of the waistband. Have the apron top sewn to the waistband. Now what you're going to do is attach the straps that you, that you stitched. So um, you want this strap to be pretty close to, so it looks like one continuous piece because you're going to have a half an inch seam allowance. So what I usually do, just to kind of help it out a little bit, is I put one very tiny tuck in the center of the strap, and then I'm going to pin the strap to the waistband. So I've got the end of the strap pinned to the end of this waistband piece. Then you're going to come in and you're going to stitch this right along the edge with a quarter inch seam allowance and you're going to do the same thing with the other strap on the other side. Okay, this is where we're at. We've got straps sewn to the ends of the waistband. We've got the apron top attached. We've got the skirt. So now all we've got to do is take our second waistband piece and close this all in. What you're going to want to do is, okay, so you're going to put this waistband piece, it's hard to show flat, but you're going to pin this so that it's right sides facing with the other side of, with the other waistband piece. And then you're going to come and you're going to pin about I don't know, I don't think you'll get all the way to that edge, but go ahead and pin about that far down on that side. And then you're going to pin this all the way across like this. And I'm going to go ahead and finish pinning this and show you what it looks like before I sew it. 
Okay, this is all pinned. We've got the straps kind of facing in so that none of this is going to get caught as we sew. And you're going to start sewing from this corner up, around, and over, and down. And make sure that you backstitch. Okay, that's sewn all the way across. Now, there's the fun part. You can kind of see how this all comes together. So then you're just going to take it and turn it so that the waistband is everything's right side out so just kind of flipped it now you can see it looks like an apron and then to finish it you're going to come on the back and you can see you've got a raw edge here get all these straps out of the way i'm going to go ahead and press this and then you're going to press this under a half an inch as well you're going to press it all the way across and pin it and then it's up to you how you want to finish it. You can hand stitch this if you want. You can also, um, if you get that pressed really well, you can come in and you can just do a top stitch here and here. And I think I will go ahead and do a top stitch so you guys can see what that looks like. And here you can see the finished project. Um, you can see I have a lot of strings to clip, but there you can see what it looks like on the back. I actually prefer machine stitching this down since this is an apron for um, a little kid um, because I just think it's sturdier. Also, um, since you're dealing with something with neck straps, you need to make sure that if you use this with a kid that you do not double knot this or if you do um, use it in any other way that you might want to go ahead and use Velcro or a snap instead so that it does not pose a um, choking hazard to the kid but do not tie anything around their neck. And I hope that you enjoyed that and be sure to visit the blog and check out all the other great tutorials that we've got.